visit the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial in Washington, D.C. any time of the year, and you'll find a beautiful tribute that ensures that no name of a fallen hero is ever forgotten. You feel the magnitude and the importance of all of those names collectively. How one officer lost adds up to so many. The names engraved upon these granite walls stand as a permanent testament to the selfless way in which each one gave his or her life in the service of others. But go there during National Police Week, and as strange as it sounds, the memorial comes to life. Names become faces and stories. A husband, wife, a parent, father, mother, a child, a partner, a best friend. You see parts of their lives, and this is when the events of National Police Week touch a deeper place in your soul. Hello, my name is Patrick Yose, National President of the Paternal Order Police. We are the oldest and largest rank and file police organization in America. On May 15th, for the last 39 years on the lawn of the U.S. Capitol, the Fraternal Order Police has honored America's fallen police officers who have given their last full measure in the service of others. On this National Peace Officers Memorial Day, pause for a minute and look across America. You'll find communities that are struggling. People are hurting, scared, and grieving. In every one of those communities, you will also find selfless first responders placing themselves in harm's way, for they stand as the first line of defense in communities that they took an oath to protect and serve. Their uniform is often blue, but they come in brown and green and suntans too. Never let them walk alone. The badge may be a shield, it may also be a star. Silver or gold, but seen from afar. Never let them walk alone. A thankless job they willingly do to provide protection for me and you, and they do it. Never let them walk alone. Hated by many, but loved by few. Only they know best the job they must do. And they do it. Never let them walk alone. An arbitrator, negotiator, enforcer of the law. Doctor, lawyer, keeper of the peace. Never let them walk alone. When they're off to work each day and you at home do silently pray. The Lord be with them as they go on their way. Never let them walk alone. And when their time has to pass. And when the father calls them home, there's a bigger job that must be done. Never let them walk alone. While Americans do their part to stop the spread of COVID-19 during these very trying times, we can all find comfort in knowing that there are some 800,000 police officers across this country with such a strong sense of community that they leave the safety of their homes each day in the service of others. Just as our nation has been disrupted due to the safety concerns caused by COVID-19, so too has this year's National Peace Officers Memorial Service. For the first time in nearly four decades, this important event had to be canceled. I'm saddened that we cannot come together in Washington, D.C. this year to grieve with our surviving families and draw strength from one another. Welcome to the Fraternal Order of Police and Fraternal Order of Police Auxiliaries Memorial Tribute to the Fallen Heroes of Law Enforcement. Hello, I'm Linda Henney, National President of the Fraternal Order of Police Auxiliary. In 1962, President John F. Kennedy was authorized by Congress to issue a proclamation that May 15th of each year be observed as Peace Officers Memorial Day. In 1982, a yearly observance was established to recognize the men and women who proudly wore the uniform, daily served the communities in which they lived and worked, and bravely made the ultimate sacrifice in the performance of their duties. This year's memorial tribute honors 185 brave men and women whose lives were taken in an instant or suffered debilitating diseases as a result of working to save others. Their deaths are of the same. They serve steadfastly to protect the citizens of our great nation. The Final Inspection The policeman stood and faced his God, which must always come to pass. He hoped his shoes were shining just as brightly as his brass. Step forward now, policeman, how shall I deal with you? Have you always turned the other cheek? To my church, have you been true? The policeman squared his shoulder and said, No, Lord, I guess I ain't. Because those of us who carry badges can't always be a saint. I've had to work most Sundays, and at times my talk was rough. 
and sometimes I've been violent because the streets are awfully rough. But I never passed a cry for help, though at times I shook with fear. But sometimes, God forgive me, I wept unmanly tears. If you've a place for me here, Lord, it needn't be so grand. I never expected or had too much. And if you don't, I'll understand. There was a silence all around the throne where the saints had often tried as the policeman waited quietly for the judgment of his God. Step forward now, policeman. You've borne your burdens well. Come walk a beat on heaven's streets. You've done your time so well. Hey guys, um, I'm so thankful to be here even in this capacity. I know that we um, couldn't have the memorial in person, uh, but this is so special to me. Um, I've done it once before, and it's a, one of the biggest honors of my life. And so to, to be back a part of it um, anytime uh, and every time really is special. So uh, thank you guys for having me. You guys have sacrificed so much, uh, your families, and we are here to remember the fallen. And uh, this is something that... Um, that I wrote that came from personal experience for my family that I felt like was fitting for this. And uh, so I hope you guys enjoy and um, thank you guys for having me. It's an honor. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. I really do. You brought all these flowers and your black dresses and suits. But y'all know me, and you know the truth. That ain't me in that box there in front of you. Can't I just get an amen and y'all just get out of here? I got the best view ever now that I'm way up here. Joking around with Jesus, catching up with Grandpa. Hurry up, preacher. I'm telling y'all, you should be fishing. With a cold beer in your hand Instead of missing me here Y'all could be missing me there High up in your dear stand Save my truck And save my guns And when they're old enough Give them to my sons Don't let this stained glass Shine on y'all too long today And save the roses Save the roses, don't waste them on me. And tell who you love, how much you love them. Don't just say it, no. You got to show them in every chance you get to get to know her better. Remember forever, don't last forever. And take it from me in my brand new point of view. The biggest regret of your life won't be what you did It'll be what you didn't do You should be fishing With a cold beer in your hand Instead of missing me here Y'all should be missing me there High up in your dear stand Save my truck and save my guns And when they're old enough Give them to my sons Don't let this stained glass Shine on y'all too long today Oh, time is so precious It ain't gonna wait You should be fishing With a cold beer in your hand Instead of missing me here, y'all should be missing me there High up in your dear stand Save my truck and save my guns And when they're old enough, give them to my sons Don't let this stained glass shine on y'all too long today And save the roses, save the roses Save the roses Don't waste them on me 
Don't waste them on me. We want to honor today all of the families in law enforcement and all of the law enforcement officers who have lost their lives in 2019. They're like our first line of defense. We cannot say enough about the jobs and the tasks that they have at hand, especially in this difficult time. So I have been involved for 26 years now with the Fraternal Order of Police and supporting them, wishing that we were all at the Capitol this year to have our service and our memorial, but we're all here together anyway. Our hearts, our prayers are with you. We appreciate all of you. As a kid growing up in New York City, I knew what it was to have that policeman standing on the corner every day, watching over us, protecting us, getting us back home at night. So thank you. We're here for you now, and we will be here for you always. Thank you. On November 6, 1986, my dad, Motorman Emilio Fidel Meares, was shot and killed in the line of duty. I was just seven years old. Overnight, I had to become the man of the house with a new mission to take care of my mom and my sister. Taking care of others is how a lot of survivors deal with their grief. As survivors, we often say grief does not go away or get easier, but you learn to live with it and it becomes your new normal. Whether you lost your officer a few months ago or 30 years ago, survivors understand your pain and the different emotions we experience for the rest of our lives. That's where COPS makes a difference. I grew up going to COPS programs, attending my first police week and COPS Kids Teens program in 1989. They taught me it was okay to grieve for myself and talk about my feelings. Many times I felt alone and misunderstood, but having COPS and the peer support of other survivors made me understand the process of grief and that it is normal. COPS changed my life and made me who I am today. Now, as COPS National President, I represent over 53,000 survivors all across the nation. National Police Week is usually a time for all of us to come together and reconnect or get to meet new surviving families and give them hope and support. Even if we can't be face to face this year, that support is still here. Just reach out to us and we will help you up. We are all in this together. COPS is about strangers becoming friends and friends becoming family, the blue family. Survivors don't walk this path alone. We are all here for each other. It's a family I didn't ask to be a part of, but I don't know what I would do without them. We never ever imagined that it could happen to one of us. But on January 10th, 2005, Officer Molly Bowden was shot at a traffic stop, ultimately ending her life and changing the lives of so many others. Molly's family, of course, was devastated, as were we, her friends and her coworkers. Our agency would have done anything to help Molly's family, and we did. But what really helped Molly's family was bringing them together with other survivors through COPS. I didn't even know what this organization was when Molly died, but now I do. To all the family members and coworkers of our fallen heroes, you are not alone. COPS brings people together who really understand what you are going through. One year from today, the Fraternal Order of Police will host the Peace Officers Memorial Service on the Capitol lawn, but please don't wait that long to reach out to, for the services that are available to you through COPS. From scholarships for spouses and kids, to the assistance and filing for benefits, to counseling, to the many retreats that are scheduled for late this summer or fall, or to just have a friendly ear, COPS is just a phone call or an email away. Hey y'all, Sotafar, I want to say a big thanks to all of our policemen and women, all y'all out there serving us. Uh, just try to get things back to normal, just doing your best, the best that you can do. Uh, it is amazing to see what y'all are doing in our communities and what you're doing to make our country stronger. For that, my hat is off to you. Thank you so much. We are forever grateful. Uh, keep doing what you do. It does not go unnoticed. Thank you so much. In the heart of our nation's capital, we come together to pay tribute to the American peace officers who made supreme sacrifice. President Donald Trump has embraced our law enforcement families. He has joined us for each memorial service of his presidency. He has welcomed our surviving families. He has grieved with them and he has consoled them. While we are not together at our nation's capital for this solemn day of remembrance, we are still privileged and we are honored by the president's participation. 
The job of a law enforcement officer has never been easy. And as we recover from this pandemic, it is even more difficult. President Trump, you have never wavered in your support of the men and women in law enforcement. We are grateful for your strong commitment in keeping our nation safe, our community safe, and America's law enforcement officers safe. This is a very special day because it's a day where we're going to give a moment of silence for our law enforcement officials and officers who died in the line of duty. These are great people, men and women, brave, strong. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. Great, great people. And it's a very important moment. To me, it's a very important moment. There's nobody that does more to keep our country together, when you think about it, then law enforcement, officers, officials, the people that take care of us, that protect us. So I want to give my regards and my love to the families. And I want to just say that very, very special people are being honored with this moment of silence. Hi, I'm Gavin Hattersley, the Chief Executive Officer of the Molson Coors Beverage Company. We are proud long-term partners and sponsors of the Fraternal Order of Police. And as such, I want to express our utmost gratitude for everything that the men and women of police departments across the countries do. Every single day, you put your life on the line to protect the safety of others. And we want you to know that it is not a risk that goes unnoticed or unappreciated. And while we have always had a special relationship with the police, that partnership was further strengthened after the incredible work and bravery exhibited by the local police during and following the shooting tragedy that impacted our company in February. And while I don't think we can ever properly express our gratefulness for all the sacrifices you make, we have had the privilege to produce and distribute hand sanitizer to a number of police departments as we all try and navigate this pandemic. It's a small gesture of our appreciation. So from everyone at Molson Coors, thank you for your service. We look forward to continuing our strong partnership and most importantly, stay safe. These law enforcement officers did not live for honors or pay. Their happiness was in doing their job, protecting and serving the public on a daily basis. They knew that their duty of enforcing laws and preserving order in the communities in which they lived and worked made a difference. Without hesitation, these heroes rushed toward danger because of their sworn obligation to serve and protect. While we honor these 185 officers for the heroes we know them to be, their loved ones, friends, and co-workers are remembering them for the person they were. Death leaves a heartache no one can heal, but love leaves a memory that no one can steal. The sacrifice of your officer and your family will not be forgotten. Their devotion to you and the profession they chose and loved will be carried on by the brotherhood and sisterhood of law enforcement, and you can be assured that you will never walk alone. Their sacrifice will be remembered as they take their place of honor alongside those who have gone before them. Just as we have done for nearly four decades, next year on May 15th, the Fraternal Order Police will honor these brave men and women at our memorial service on the lawn of the U.S. Capitol. This is our promise to each of them and their surviving families. May our heroes rest in peace. May God bless the families they leave behind. May God watch over the officers protecting the streets and communities today. And may God bless the United States of America.
Thank you.